What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, make sure you take your daily test booster. And let's talk about this Galaxy Fold real quick. So, all right, Galaxy Fold 3. I've had this for a couple days now. A um, couple thoughts on it. First and foremost, quick and out of the way, I like the phone. I, I really do. Uh, battery life could be better, of course. That's going to be a common complaint I'm sure you see a lot of people have. Um, it's got some software bugs, too, that I'll talk about a little later in the video. But if you just want, if you're here just to see if I am happy that I bought a Galaxy Fold 3 coming from a Note 20 Ultra, yes, I am. I, I, I have no regrets. Love this phone. So if you're thinking about it and you're in the same position I was, Note 20 Ultra to this, and this interests you, I, I recommend it. I love it. Now, if you want to stick around and hear what I got to say about it that's maybe not so great, um, then do that. Otherwise, fucking leave. All right, now the real ones are here. It's you and I, let's just talk. So, Galaxy Fold 3, 1,800 smackers. It's not cheap. Neither was the Note 20 Ultra, though. This was 1,400, I think, when it came out. So, both expensive-ass phones. Um, what I like about the Fold 3 is everything that you've seen advertised. It's the big screen. It's the cool aspect of having this piece of technology that is so different than all the slabs of glass that are just rectangles from everybody else. I love this thing for that right there. The big screen is awesome. Battery life was a little bit concerning, but I think it's gotten better over time. Um, I'm going to rip YouTube music in half real quick and Google, I'm coming for you. YouTube premium is something I've paid for for a while now. You can laugh at me, but I, I don't like advertisements on my YouTube videos that I watch. I watch a lot of YouTube. So I've been paying for that for a long time, and it was rolled over from my Google Play Music subscription. It just kind of became one thing when they got rid of that. And then YouTube Music came out, and YouTube Music's been out for a few years now. And when I got this phone, YouTube Music was using like 4% battery out of like the hour or two that had been open, and it was all like background usage, and I could not get it to stop that. So I sent an email out to like the support page or whatever for YouTube Music, and said, uh, hey, could you guys maybe take a look at this background usage? I think maybe it's just not been optimized for maybe the, you know, the full three specifically, maybe the Snapdragon 888, whatever, right? I got an automatic reply back from Google. And in that email, I'll put it up on the screen here. They, you know, give you the generic like, hey, if you have issues with this, make sure you check this out. If you have issues with that, make sure you check that out. And then they have the audacity to mention help with YouTube Red. And YouTube Red has not been called YouTube Red for years. It's been called YouTube Premium. And at this point, I've decided that YouTube does not give a fuck about YouTube music. They just, they just do not give a shit. So I uninstalled it and I'm now paying for Spotify because Spotify has a much better optimized layout for the Fold 3. Uh, takes advantage of that big screen on the inside and it just fucking works um, without draining the battery constantly. So YouTube, if you're watching this, you need to fix your shit because it's kind of pathetic. Now, on top of that, a couple things that uh, people had asked about like the full three, like, is this replacing the Note 20 Ultra? And I'm here to say no, at least not in its current state. And the reason is because of this fucking piece of shit right here this is the fold 3 s pen flip cover holster fucking nonsense and i hate this this case sucks so fucking much um i can't begin to tell you enough how much i loathe this case because first and foremost flip covers the only people who use flip covers are like 35 year old white women you don't need a flip cover, okay? Just stop that shit. This should not have a flip cover on a phone that already has a covered display because you have to open it up to see the real display. I don't need another fucking thing to open. So just terrible on that aspect. This thing on the side comes off, right? So it holds the pen in place there. I actually don't mind that too much. It's a little bulky by comparison without it, but otherwise it's fine. The S Pen, though, until they have two things fixed, in my opinion. First and foremost, 
Um, you can't take notes on the cover display with the S Pen. The S Pen does not work on the cover display. Why that is, well, I don't really know. Um, it kind of makes me think that the S Pen was a really late addition to it, and they just like engineered a pen to try to figure out how to get it to going, and then they just threw it in there. But yeah, cover display does not work with the S Pen. It's very weird. So that's strike one. And then strike two, I think, is until they officially have a way where you can keep the pen just in a little silo like this. Until you can do that with a fold, it's not a true replacement. You know, I think the Note has evolved quite a bit over time, but I think the Galaxy S line has always been the one that's like come closer to being the Note than the Note becoming more like the Galaxy S. I don't know. I mean, there's some aspects of it that have been around for a while now that makes them really close together, but until the Fold can do those two things, I don't think the Note is really going away. Um, I'm sure they'll make a new one at some point, but we'll see, right? And aside from that, you know, Galaxy Z Fold 3, Really like it. Really, really do. Um, it's been a lot of fun to use. Battery life has been okay. Uh, aside from getting that shitty YouTube music glitch where it was running in the background, when I uninstalled it, it seemed like it kind of started to level out a little. And yesterday, I got off the charger about 7.30 a.m. perhaps, and then it got to 1% by about 8.30, 9 o'clock, and that was with just under five hours of screen on time. So no charging in the car, Google Maps quite a bit, that kind of stuff. Um, so all in all, I think it's going to be okay, but if you are looking for something that's got like marathon battery level, you can go camping for a couple days and not worry about it. This isn't it. And I don't think that's why you're buying it. You're not buying it because it's got amazing battery life or the latest cameras. The cameras are good. They're, they're just fine. Like I don't feel aside from having the 108 megapixel mode on here, or what was it like 50 times zoom? I don't feel like this is substantially better than this for what I take photos with. Also, I'm not using that camera as much anymore because I have an actual camera, so maybe I'm biased, but I think the cameras on here are fine, except for the inside fucking camera, which shouldn't even be there. That under display camera is actual dog shit. So don't use that one. You're not gonna use it. You got four other cameras you could pick from, one on the front cover and three on the back. So that's my opinion. Um, aside from that though, I also got the Galaxy Watch 4, which I might make a video on, maybe. Got a little bit more testing I'm doing because I found some glitches and I'm trying to see if maybe they'll work themselves out. But yeah, that's it guys. That's it. So, make sure you, uh, wash your hands and, uh, this is again, every video, if you're new to the channel, we end it with recommending... Um, that everybody buys a bidet. So far, we've we've reached a, uh, a a total subscriber count of about 6,200 people. We were at 6,500 people last week. Uh, I made some comments on Afghanistan and lost like a bunch. So, um, but if you're new to this, subscribe and purchase a bidet because we only want clean butts around here. So. Can you tell I don't know how to end this video?